Today's video is going to be a complete print on demand tutorial. We're going to cover everything step by step, just like I personally do my own business. I've been in this space for quite some time now. So hopefully this video will be an all in one guide for those of you who want to start a print on demand business and get your first sale. Everything will be covered right here from the camera and screen recording. So let's dive right into the video. For those of you who don't know, print on demand is essentially a business model where you create t-shirt designs and upload them to different websites. When people purchase your designs on t-shirts, the company takes care of printing, shipping and customer service. All you need to do is create the designs, upload them correctly and collect your paycheck. Now there are two types of print on demand. You've got passive print on demand and active print on demand. Active print on demand is where the seller actively markets and promotes their product through various strategies. The seller then takes care of customer service and some other aspects of the business. This is the case for platforms like Etsy and Shopify. And then you've got passive print on demand where the seller relies on the platform to generate sales without extensive promotion effort. This is a completely hands-off approach where the seller only does the research, design and the upload of the design. Everything else is done by the platforms themselves. This is the case for Amazon Merch on Demand, Redbubble, TeePublic and similar sites. In this tutorial, we will focus on the passive side of the business model where everything is done for you. You simply create the designs, upload them to multiple websites and let the sales come in without lifting a finger. Now, step number one, we need to find design inspiration. To start creating t-shirt designs, it's important to think about topics or niches that interest you. It could be anything from outdoor activities like camping and hiking to food, drinks or special hobbies, etc. You can research for design inspiration on websites like Etsy or use ChatGPT, which provides suggestions for copyright free t-shirt slogans based on your niche. But the best way to find designs that sell is to actually use a research tool called Merch Dominator, which shows you exactly what is selling. So we can find the demand and cater to it. Instead of shooting in the dark, we have a clear target. So go to best sellers, and this is where we find the best selling t-shirts and there are various other products and marketplaces specifically catered to or merged by Amazon. There's also Redbubble, Etsy, Spreadshirt and KDP as well. What I want to do is I want to sort by newest. It's very simple guys. This way we can find the latest designs that have just been uploaded and that are selling. Look at this. All of these designs have just been uploaded and are selling really well. And what I'm interested in doing is identify trends because the trend is your friend. Trends are where the big money is, guys. Right off the bat, we can see Halloween is trending. Now, let's try and find a trend within the Halloween trend. You can see this ghost nurse. This is boo sheets, right? This one right here, this one right here. Okay, so immediately we can see this is some boo sheets or this is boo sheet selling well. It's decent design. Without even checking on Amazon, I can tell that this is a bestseller purely because it keeps repeating, right? And I'm also going to check in seller trends. Let's see if it is here as well there it is as well there it is a lot of them are selling guys as you can see now for triple confirmation let's go to product search and type our keyword or you can simply open it from here open in product search and then click on search this way we can see on amazon if it's selling or not there you go the bsi is really low this is very very good yeah decent bsr for those of you that don't know what bsr is it's the best seller rank the lower it is the closer it is to one the better now for print on demand especially for t-shirts anything that is below 100k is really really good now i've made the decision that i'm going to make a design similar to this with my own spin on it now once you have your design idea it's time to bring it to life a great tool for designing t-shirts is also merch dominator it has everything you need for making a great design just like photoshop but much simpler and you can design from your browser without installing anything and it's also free so we go to merch dominator designer and the tools and we'll click on file click on new we need to have in the width 4500 by 5400 pixels i'm gonna have a black background and click on create perfect this is my artboard i'm just move my 
myself over here. Now I need to get the design elements. I'm not going to do everything by myself. I'm not going to create a design from scratch. I'm simply going to use different elements. What are the elements that we have? We literally have a ghost and a font. Where am I going to get that ghost from? Well, the answer is from Creative Fabrica. I typed boo sheet and I found this one right here. I think we can definitely get away with this one. I'm only going to use the graphic elements. I'm not going to use the font. I'm going to try and find a better font. We go ahead and download it and we go ahead and import it. There we have it. We make it bigger. Now we need to delete this part and go to my eraser tool and select my layer and start erasing. Fantastic. Now we need to write our text. Click on text. I'm going to make this bigger, maybe 200 pixels. And we're going to choose the white color and click on here anywhere and type our text. Okay. That's our text. We need to enlarge it. If you guys don't have this font or any custom font that you'd like to import to Merge Dominator Designer, you can simply click on this tier right here, click over here, and then click on load font and import the font that you want to import to Merge Dominator Designer. Yeah? I'm going to warp it around, double click, and then click on warp, click on style, choose arc, and choose the effect to suit your design. Do the same thing with the other text. Perfect. There you have it. Now we need to add another effect, which is going to really make all the difference. I'm going to add a grunge effect so i'm going to select all the layers just need to click on one of them and then shift and on the last one and then right click merge layers and if you want to keep a backup just click on command or control j to copy all these layers and then just use the copied layers for the merge layer just like that and then hide these perfect now let's get our grunge texture we're simply going to get it from creative fabrica again i just typed grunge i'm going to use this texture right here download it and by the way guys if you don't have creative fabrica i've got you a free trial you're able to download 10 designs for free i'll leave you a link down below in the description you just need to go to my tools and resources and you'll find it in that link click on the link and you'll find it amongst the links of my tools and resources and if you decide to go ahead with the subscription it only works out about four dollars 99 per month if you pay for the yearly upfront which is a really really good deal so this is the texture that i'm going to be using i'm going to drag it over here just like that i'm going to use the rectangle selection tool I'm going to drag to select just like that and then click on command c if you have mac or control c if you have windows go back to our design now with our main merged layer selected we have to choose a raster mask so we add a raster mask and then we have to unlink the main design from the raster mask and we go inside the raster mask then we click on command v if you have mac or control v if you have windows now we need to click on the move tool and then make our mask bigger just like that can you see how the texture starts to get bigger and bigger and there you have it click on confirm get out of the mask and there's our design this is much much better i think it looks a lot more attractive now we can save this design as a psd file we can reopen it with merge dominator designer or we can reopen it with photoshop basically do whatever you want now let's hide our background so that we can export our transparent png click on file go to export as png aim it however you like and then click on save and there's our design guys now that we have our design done step number three is finding profitable keywords and creating our listing this involves finding profitable keywords and creating a compelling listing this process begins by conducting keyword research to identify popular search terms related to our product we can use tools like merge dominator keyword analysis tool or even merge dominator redbubble tag generator for this purpose once we have a list of relevant keywords we strategically incorporate them into our product title description and bullet points and best of all merge dominator ai listing creator will create everything for us automatically using ai and the entire listing will be scanned for trademarks to ensure that it is safe for us to use and it's very important to create a listing that is informative engaging and optimized for search engines as this increases the visibility and chances of conversion so you could collect keywords using keyword with analysis tool or even Redbubble tag generator which is what I'm going to use now it's very very easy so we're going to use the name of the design or what the design is about we're going to put it in here and let's see if Redbubble tag generator is going to give us any relevant keywords let's click on search check this out guys this is incredible 361 results based on our 
target design and all these keywords are very relevant let's cycle through them we can go to page two page three whatever what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the first 20 or 30 tags copy specified and then i'll put 30 i want to copy the first 30 tags and then i'm going to go to the ai listing creator which you can find down here in ai tools i'm not going to create a title and brand because i can simply do that manually because i want to use the main keywords of the design but since Simply, I'm going to use the AI listing creator to create me the bullets and description provided I've created my prompt already which I can create in here in saved prompts this is what the prompt looks like very very easy click on auto fill and we're going to be using this prompt right here generate two merch by Amazon t-shirt bullet points using these keywords click on add and then I'm going to paste my keywords check this out guys I'm gonna remove some keywords that I don't need so I'm left with these keywords I'm gonna copy them and put them here as well click on autofill use the prompt for the description and then paste the keywords and then click on submit it will take a few seconds to generate our description and bullet points just like that make sure that it looks good if you need to change anything simply change it until you're satisfied with the outcome you can save the listing if you'd like you can save it in any list if you'd like now we need to scan all the text for trademarks to make sure that we keep our account safe select your spto select registered select class 25 for t-shirts and word and click on check trademarks these trademarks keywords are very normal they may seem trademarks but they're actually used in the dictionary they're used in day-to-day -day communication so they're not a problem at all it's safe to assume that we're not going to find any trouble we can go ahead and start uploading our design now that you have your design ready it's time to upload it to different print on demand websites some recommended platforms include amazon merch on demand Etsy, TeePublic, Redbubble, Zazzle and each platform has its own upload process and requirements so make sure to follow their guidelines for titles, descriptions and tags etc. For this video I'll be using Amazon Merch On Demand because it's literally the undisputed king of them all simply because Amazon is the biggest e-commerce platform in the world and there's no comparison with other platforms. I'm going to use the design that I've just created and I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to click on select products and I'm only going to choose standard t-shirt for the US marketplace you can choose whatever products you want to upload to or whichever marketplace and then I'm going to click on edit select the colors that go with your design select your price I'm going to do 1338 just so I can get some sales initially and then raise the price and now let's do our title brand description bullet points as for the title I'm literally going to use the same title as the bestseller to piggyback of the exposure brand same thing I just removed men and women and then copied and pasted our bullet points and description and once we're happy with everything we go down and click on publish make sure that it's searchable so that it appears in amazon search results because you definitely want to benefit from that organic exposure so click on publish and then publish again now if all is fine it's going to take about 10 minutes to go through from design under review to processing and then about an hour to go completely live and it will be searchable on amazon and people can buy it directly from amazon and as soon as it sells you'll get your royalties and if you guys don't have merch dominator i've got you 50 percent off so instead of buying it for 49 dollars per month you'll get it for 24.50 just copy this coupon right here and paste it here click on apply you'll get it for 24.50 per month and then click on register and this discount is for life as well it's a lifetime discount if you want to get a better deal click on the yearly option you'll get it for 245 instead of the full price because you get two months off on top of the original discount and it works out around about $20 per month when you do 245 divided by 12. There are loads and loads of updates coming. There's an extension on the way. There's a Chrome extension on the way which will do amazing things. There's full-fledged Etsy tool and you'll get it for the same price. So make sure you lock in this amazing price now. And if you guys need a Merch by Amazon account or you know someone who needs one, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. You'll get it within 24 hours of purchase i'll also leave you below a crash course for merch by amazon along with 200 plus profitable print on demand niches a link to check out my full ultimate merch by amazon course that's helped hundreds of people crush merch by amazon and if you guys don't have time to do niche research i'm going to leave you a link for my niche research service congratulations you've completed the research found the design inspiration created your design and you uploaded it to print on demand websites now it's time to wait for the sales to come in and for 
focus on marketing your listings. Remember to regularly check your account earnings and make adjustments as needed. Good luck with your print on demand business journey. And thank you for watching this complete print on demand tutorial. And watch this video if you want to see how I do the exact same process selling pop sockets on Merch by Amazon, which are selling like hotcakes right now. See you next time.